What were the early days like around, like being around Q back then? Like obviously both of you guys are from the same, you know, the same set. The early days with me and Q, me and Q went back, went before GED. Me and Q, we used to work together. We used to live together in Compton. Like we from the 50s. Like, like it go before GED. Like one day at work, he just was like, I rap. I'm like, you rap? I'm like, oh, Where were you guys working? We was working at some like fucking railroad company or some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Manual labor. Yeah, manual labor, loading the trains and all that. Me and him just, you know. And he from like, he from 51st Street. I'm from 56th Street. And I didn't know this nigga until we got to work. And I'm like, where you live? Or where you from? And I'm like, nigga, I stay right there. I'm like, for how many years? He like, and I'm like, fucking never. I'm like, never, nigga. We even went to the same high school. Like Never. he graduated, I, Crenshaw and I graduated Crenshaw. He's in the ninth grade, you know what I'm saying? I was in the twelfth grade, but I'm like, how the fuck did we not see each other all the way till we got here? I mean, but that's just how the universe work, energy work, whatever. The was case he maybe. always hilarious? My nigga was always funny. He was always doing the same shit. He man. might be the most underrated like comedic personality in all the music. But that's how all my homies is. Mm. That's how I am. That's how you are. I mean, look, and now it's working. Yeah, I mean, if we get together, it's unstoppable. It's, the jokes is ridiculous, but it's it's a cool t- 10 of us like that's just crazy. Like, you can't fuck with it at all. Why did the uh, GD thing not work out like with Q and Tiger? You know, eventually, obviously, ended up with TDE. Um, just because of the way Tiger do business. Exactly mm. why I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Just the way how niggas handle business and how niggas just be, like, out for self. I mean, you can only do so much for a motherfucker. I mean, you don't owe me shit. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like certain shit you supposed to do as a friend. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what it was with him. Like, he knew, like, his career wouldn't flourish with GED. He, he, should, he, was, he should go over here to TDE, and this is where it's at. And that's where he decided to stay, hustle, and grind. You feel me? And then T-Raw, he did his own thing over here. And, you know, he, he flourished his way. It was hard as fuck, too. Don't get it fucked up, even though he was signed to Universal. Well, he had to kind of force, force Cash Money's hand. Yeah, you had He was on day. the shelf. And, and he heated up with all them mixtapes, and it was day. like... Yeah, he, but it wasn't even a, a, as as far as you being on the shelf because it was just. It wasn't even like, that, but like he was never like like I feel like you guys forced like Universal's hand like with that song, yeah, and coming out with shit and doing mixtapes around doing that the time, well was, done shit. It was a different time back then, and back then nobody was signed to Young Money until Lil Wayne went to jail. He signed all the artists when he went to jail, right before he went to jail, so he can lock everybody in. So yeah, so they didn't. So around that time, we really wasn't even. We have just sent niggas was saying Young Money and Cash Money. Nobody was signed. Wow. You feel me? Nobody was signed until that nigga had to go to jail. 